determine the maximum magnitude P of the loads the beam can support if the area shear stress in each pin is not to exceed 80 megapascal. All pins are in double shear and each has a diameter of 18 millimeter. Okay, so here is the figure for the problem. All right, so you need to find the maximum P. Okay, so you here's all the information you're given now. Over here, I draw a free body diagram. I drew a free body diagram for it already. So I focus on this member, okay? Then I have a force right here uh, in X and Y components, and another force in this member, which you can consider uh, consider it as a for single force, okay? Now focus on this one. So to the to find the maximum force, you need to know this four and this four, okay? So how do you how are you going to find the forces in the y direction? Because all of the all of p forces are in the y direction, so you need to find force BC and force AY, okay? So what I'm going to do uh, is to take a moment about. A because it's eliminate this four and this four and I have only and then I can find F B C in the Y direction right away. Okay? So uh let's see. Well let me switch over point B because it, it follows uh what I did here. You can do you yeah anyway because I did both okay so but I did for point B first and then take the moment about B first and then take the moment about A later okay so it doesn't matter which order you use first all right take the moment about B so it's eliminate this force so I have from here to here is a uh, 0.5 P and assume clockwise is positive so I have 0.5 P plus 2 from here to here is 2 times 3 P plus from here to here is 4 times 6p plus 0 uh, from here to here is 5.5 times p minus oh sure so, uh, plus because I assume a y is upward so well, upward yeah, is actually negative because it counterclockwise. Oh, damn. Let me just fix this real quick. But uh, the answer is still incorrect. It's, it's still correct. Okay, so minus 6ay because it's counterclockwise, so you have to subtract it. So 6ay, alright, and set this expression equal 0 because it's in equilibrium. Then solve for ay, I got 6 okay positive 6p now take the moment about a and set it equal to 0 so I have so go backwards you have from here to here so all of the of the p forces are in uh, counterclockwise so they are negatives okay so from here to here I have negative 0 0.5p from here to here I have negative 2 times 6p from here to here I have negative 4 times 3p from here to here I have negative 5.5p and from here to here I have 6 times okay you break this out into x and y component so I have uh, 3 over 5 times 6 fbc okay all right now I can find fbc which is equal to negative 8.33p okay now all the forces are expressed in terms of p all right. Uh, let's see. Is it necessary to? Yeah, it is. Okay. So let's some um, let's find a x. So summation of uh, forces in the x direction equals zero. I have a negative four over five f b c minus minus a y a x because I, I assume to the left is negative so I found a x equals 6.67 p 
because you just file APC so you plug it, you plug it in here and then you solve for AX so I got this one of course in terms of P now the shear at B is the same as the shear uh, let's see BC so the shear so you have a pin joint right here and another pin joint right here and as is mentioned in the figure they are double they are in double shear so this shear right here is the same as this shear right here because they share the same force so I have the shear force at B is the same as shear force at C and that equals to the force BC divided by 2 because you have double joint double shear okay so what does that mean to be double shear okay let's see if I can illustrate it to you so if uh, imagine you have a pin right here okay between this one this one so you have one uh, in, in contact surface right here and uh, the other one contact surface over here so one two uh, two contact surfaces so that that is is a pin double shear if you have a a bolt uh, go all if you have a bolt goes all the way through this object and this object okay I hope that makes sense to you okay so divide that by 2 I got negative 4.16p alright and a shear at A so at A you also have a double shear so uh, VA equals FA divided by 2 what is FA? FA is the uh, force in X component squared plus force in the Y component squared and then take square root of that that gives you 4.49p alright now let's compare so since uh, this for this shear force is greater than this shear force, so it will reach this shear first before it eh, before it it will be able to reach this shear force. Okay, so take this shear force, apply it to the shear formula. So the shear formula is equal to the shear force divided by the area. So you have for Oh shoot, uh, let me fix this one. It's actually 4416p. Uh, because uh, you reached this force first before you will be able to reach this force. Right? So you plug into this formula, I have for a time 4.16p divided by the area, which is pi over 4 times 18 squared. And equals zero. So solve this. You get p equals four a nice four. So your maximum p force is four thousand eight hundred ninety four newtons. Okay. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.